I'm feeling really awesome today. It was raining this morning, which actually worked out really well for the uh, nature of the work that I had to engage myself with. Uh, it was nice to have a little bit of rain to wash me off while I was doing that. But now the sun's out and I'm feeling pretty good. I, I didn't get the best night's sleep last night because now I'm kind of on my own and I was a little nervous about that. But uh, yeah. The sun's out and I'm feeling okay today. After I dragged Warren's corpse in multiple pieces into the driveway, I went over to his house to see if I could pick through whatever he had. I didn't have super high hopes, just because, you know, 48 hours after the EMP struck, he was over begging up water. Uh, so I was thinking maybe I'll find some crackers or whatever. But as it turns out, Warren was a prepper. I had no idea. We were neighbors. And, well, I mean, I didn't share with him. He didn't share with me. Because, uh, you know, it's, good. it's like a taboo thing, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we were both preppers next to each other. Except he isn't, uh, he wasn't the uh, I want to have lots of food and water kind of prepper like I am. Uh, he was more of the I want to have lots of these and lots of ammunition kind of a prepper. Uh, it was in, like an AR-15 uh, with a bunch of magazines and he had a ton of ammo. He had uh, uh, some 22s. And a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of 22 ammo. I guess the stuff was cheap or something. Uh, and he had another bolt-action rifle, so he was all set in that department, uh, just not in the food department. Can't eat your bullets. He kind of did end up eating a bullet in the end, though, or a laser. I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I, I can't believe that he was a, a prepper. I just had no idea. Uh, I guess you know we all kept it secret and. Uh, now I wish that I knew if there were other preppers in my area because I'm just feeling kind of on my own and I think tomorrow I really need to get out and just sort of investigate, see what's going on because I can't just sit in the house and wait for whatever to happen, whatever to come to me. Uh, but I feel really uncomfortable leaving the house now because I don't have anyone to watch over it. That's the thing, you know, people had all these lone wolf prepper fantasies but you know, you only got eyes in one side of your head. And you got to sleep sometime. So it kind of sucks. But, um, well, that, anyway, that's why I was dragging Warren's cadaver out into the driveway, is what I want to do is I want to make it look like the house has already been looted. Um, so I, I kind of reassembled his pieces and put them in the driveway, and just I was just essentially making a mess with a bunch of junk to make it look like someone's already hit the house. So I'm hoping that if people come by, they're going to see the house and be like, oh, this one already got hit, why waste our time? Or just at least be grossed out by the, the dead body and uh, and move on. But uh, but yeah, I got to get out and I got to find out what's going on. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'll bring the camera with me. Just see what's going on outside of my you know immediate area. I'm going to be busy the af this afternoon though because there are some more more crackers at Warren's house and cans of soup and stuff like that. There's a little bit of that to get, and uh, there's some more of Warren actually left down in the garden, which. I think I'm just going to bury in, in the garden as compost. So that's my afternoon. Why, why did I say that I was feeling awesome today again? Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.